for me in my life, it was very difficult for me to believe that God loved me, that He had a plan for my life. <clears throat> and I'm like, well, where are you? You know, Jeremiah 29, 11 says that He has a plan, hope, and a future. And I'm like, uh, can I suggest a plan B? Being in, in a Christian home and learning about Jesus loving me and, and, you know, Jesus loving all the children of the children of the world, I said, well, then why did He give me less? And no one had any answers. For me, I was seeking God and I thought, well, the only way I'm going to have love, peace, joy, purpose, and a good life is if God gives me arms and legs. And we put God in a box and say, God, I need, I need this and this and this and this to happen in my life. I ain't going to be happy until this, 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 and this. You know, some people say, oh, Nick, I'm never going to be happy till I get married. Are you kidding me? <laughs> if, you, if you ain't happy single, you ain't happy married. And if you ain't happy in Jesus Christ today, then you don't know who Jesus Christ is. You don't know what He's given you. God, if He doesn't change the circumstance, He will change your heart. And um, that I learned over time, to be thankful for what I do have instead of being angry for what I don't have. We don't understand what God has, but when you give God your life, He can do something amazing. And I'd rather have no arms and no legs for 90 years and see one more soul come to Jesus Christ than have arms and legs for 90 years.